Detectives investigating the disappearance of 14-year-old Alice Gross have cordoned off part of a park in West London near the po towpath where she was last seen. Well, let's go live now to our correspondent Rebecca Williams, who is uh, at that park for us. And Rebecca, just how far are you from that towpath where she was last seen? Well, you can probably see it behind me. It backs on to the park. Obviously, this towpath was where Alice Gross was seen walking on the day that she disappeared. Now, the police have said that they will start searching part of this park in the next half an hour or so. It is a public park. There's a lot of foliage and undergrowth, so there is a lot of ground to cover. Now, in the last half an hour, we've seen a number of officers turn up here and police trucks to help with this search. Uh, there is a cordon in place, as you say. Officers have been here overnight, uh, but I think the decision was taken once light came to do a more thorough search, if you like. Now, police are keen to highlight uh, that this search has nothing to do and is not connected with the reconstruction that was done yesterday of Alice's last known whereabouts. Uh, this obviously has been a huge police investigation and search over the last few weeks and uh, the whole community has got involved. You might be able to see the yellow ribbons uh, on the barriers behind me. Uh, they've been put up by locals and indeed Alice's family were wearing them when they did interviews uh, with the press yesterday. Now, they are calling for anyone with information to come forward. They say anyone who might have been walking on the towpath on the day that Alice disappeared should get in touch with them, even if they didn't see her. They say that may have vital evidence that the police could use in this investigation. And Rebecca, so that uh, reconstruction filmed yesterday, I don't know if the police have been able to give you any information as yet as to whether that has turned anything up. Well, when I spoke to the police earlier about that, they didn't have any information yet as to whether uh, that had given them any leads. This certainly uh, isn't connected with that today, but uh, obviously detectives are still in Latvia searching for the man that they say is a prime suspect in this case. They fear that the 41-year-old uh, may have returned to Latvia. He was uh, arrested and jailed there 16 years ago for murdering his wife. But uh, today police uh, in the UK saying this investigation is very much still underway. Okay, Rebecca, thank you very much.